Okay, we're back. And we are going to go into work as soon as we find it. Little graveyard here. Found a book. Hand trips. Nothing we really need. We'll enchant out the gloves. Max Piety on Rue, we can at least uh, do some Apocalypse action, although, come to think of it, I don't think I'm ever going to take the, I don't think I'm ever going to take the scroll, you know, the minus scroll sacrifice ever again, and the reason is, I was thinking about this, um, you know, you you end up in that problem that I'm always concerned about is off five. The first thing you want to do is teleport after your apocalypse. And then you can't because you're just taking a bunch of damage. So you're kind of stuck trying to haste and walk out. So if I were to get teleported to the back of Zot 5, that's basically GG. So I think I'm going to have to workshop this whole idea a little bit more. Okay, let's get resistance, more resistance. Can never have too much resistance, especially on a character that's sacked resistance. I'll just put these on the list. Hold on, what? There's a rune door? Oh, I know what that is. That's, that's slime. Don't need to worry about that for now. say that as far as that previous streak went, you know, I was having a grand old time with a bunch of centaurs and it was working out really well. Um, so might be 
only reason I died was not... was not because of the scenarios that I'm laying out to you. Uh, it's a scenario that would have been solved by better play or simply worshipping Trog and having more MR uh, from that. So in practice, none of what I'm talking about has really happened. However, last game I, I did get Zot trapped into. I did get Zot trapped into. Well, I got I got Zot trapped. Uh, I didn't get teleported anywhere, but it um, recalled some stuff to me. So it's not to say that kind of thing doesn't happen. The MR thing I haven't experienced, I don't think. Just auto-exploring and dying from that. But it's possible. And you have to, if something's possible, you have to plan for it as though it's probable or even inevitable. Let's see if I can get this dude with acid. Just 28 damage, one or two hit points. Oh, hmm. I just vulnerability him. aspect of this that I'm kind of discounting, which is that, uh, you know, being paralyzed, it's, it's a confluence of events, okay? Being paralyzed doesn't actually mean you're dead as much as I've treated it as though, like, okay, you're dead, you're just dead. You're not. Um, if you have defenses, if you have hit points, if you have a number of things, you might not be dead. Even getting banished really low level doesn't mean you're dead. That centaur wizard that I had, for instance, didn't have to die. Uh, it just did because it was it was a badly built character. Um, you know, and it had a rough time. I had some misplays and so on and so forth. So that's another thing, I mean, I could just build the character to be strong enough that it is likely to survive even if something like that happens. Of course, a lot of that is RNG dependent, like I can't build a character to do that in Orc without the RNG being kind enough to give me RN plus and RF plus. Um, because, you know, there's, there's no such thing as me, well, and RLEC actually, because the biggest fear in Orc is the combo where it's like paralyze, summon monster, get a six fur he, and then you just die from a bunch of electricity damage. Although, you know, to be fair with this whole analysis, something that I've been really neglectful of is the fact that, you know, come to think of it, Orc is probably the worst place. Seems weird to say since it's uh, so early in the game, but it's probably the, the worst place for MR problems um, because, ma mainly because of the amount of hit points that you have at that point is not very good, even on something like an ogre, it's not very good comparatively to, to what you got later in the game.
So you're going to have big problems. And getting paralyzed by a lich is terrible, but the, the spells that are possible for the paralyzed lich, assuming he's alone, aren't going to do all that much damage to you compared to your hit point supply at that point. Depending on your species, obviously. Uh, So I guess what I'm saying here is on my, I mean, if I were to just continue doing centaurs like I was before, it might behoove me to just, uh, just avoid orc entirely. I guess it's uh, the deepest possible orc, D12. This is 55 possible damage. Looks like we've probably found the orc entrance. Problem. Almost none of this floor is left anyway. Okay, now obviously this character is fine on MR. So we'll just 
counts on through. But if I wasn't, I suppose I would just go deeper into dungeon or something. like a stone giant doing 65 damage to me that wouldn't be any good but then again I have more than 65 hit points so it's probably okay oh boy whoops didn't mean to take a step let's slow up uh, two potions of haste and this isn't so bad I can just see all this stuff to death. Unfortunately, we're. I guess I'm gonna have to use draw power. I'm gonna go down. I almost have to apocalypse. I suppose I'm going to to clear this obnoxious entrance. It sucks that I have no digging. That's one way to level up. Oddly enough, I haven't pulled the whole floor, so let's make a nice little army. Which is what I was, that was my plan for if I had pulled the whole floor. Trying to get the hit points back where I can. It's not always possible, but against these weak things, it's there's no reason not to invest a little bit of time into doing that. If it's like a warlord, obviously I don't want to be in melee with it, but and here's our friend who cannot paralyze me. damage. Actually, that's technically one-shot territory. If they were to get max damage smites, 
and max damage uh, bolts at the same time. Oop, I'm out of mana. Was a max damage smite, I think. Nope, bolt, bolt of fire. Of course, we have no fire resistance, so it could have done up to like 60. We use draw up power. Zombie hands wins the day. skeleton, which looks like a person for some reason. Okay. Nothing good in the first two, nothing good in the third. I guess there's a pain great sword, which is okay, but I'd rather just be a caster. Um, hmm. Dire Flail with MR Plus, but I don't need MR Plus anymore. It's just always, it's catching my eye when I see MR on things because of how important it usually is. You know, Scimitar with MR Plus as well. But nope, we have the absolute best item in the game, Amulet of Four Winds. So, MR troubles are solved. So that's the floor. Now we're going to roll the dice on going up here. Worst case scenario, it's a stone giant. Instead we get a minotaur fighter ghost. Not exactly ideal. Doesn't look like there's any loot here. Oh my god. I made three of those in a row. <laughs> and it... Uh, Worked on the on the on the last try. Didn't work any of the other times. I see that I don't have. Uh, I see that I don't have vulnerability. I want to paralyze him. It's not really working, is it? There we go. Come on, electrocution. There we go. So right, yeah, I can't be I can't be paralyzed, but I could be hit for a lot of damage from a stone giant. So we're just gonna hope the one's not here. It looks like there isn't anything, anything too scary. shop and a helmet with uh, wow all right now that's great we are wearing two items that do RC plus and RF plus um, and we sacked resistance so what an excellent excellent hat to find on this character slay doesn't really help me at all but uh, I can't complain I mean any other character would be jumping for joy at the slay component of that Now, um, tempted to go into Elf, but I, I know that's not the right play, so instead we're going to finish out Dungeon. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Paralyzed Nessos.
see how easy it would be to clear out deep elf mages. BBC. Okay, we're gonna have summon butterflies, that's good. Yeah, I don't even care what that scarf is. It's not something I care about. There's Kirky, who cannot porculate me. Zombie hands are going to get to work, but it looks like they've bailed, so um, let's see if we can't finish her off with some lightning. This is a bit of a shame because I, I can't see her anymore. I guess I'll just walk off. I, she was going to start menagerieing sooner or later, so I had to just leave. Can't be paralyzed. Don't need to worry about that. Um, you know what? I'm just going to scatter shot her. There's a book. Abilities kicking in and they're like they're killing each other. It's kind of cool. Possibly a glitch. I don't think so. I mean, whatever. I don't need to rely on that. Uh, I want shatter. Let's get that real fast. I see. I need a little more spell casting. Let's take spell casting to 10. Let's finish out dungeon. Hello. We have a thousand gold. And there's a bazaar on this floor. First of all, I'll identify some things. I'll um, magic map. We're going to drop. Berserk Rage. We're going to turn off Berserk Rage. Let's go to a different staircase. It's a little closer to my destination. Probably train some, some conjurations. Okay, okay, hold up. This is this is not where I want to be. This is an entrance to vaults. One more time. So it's behind door number three, yeah. Uh. 
And we're gonna drop amnesia. Not because we don't want them, but because we just don't want to carry them around. Oh man, I don't have I don't have digging. I keep forgetting. tolling of a distant bell. It's not frantic or anything yet. Alright, we made it. don't care about the amulet. I see that there's an Necronomicon. I want that. Of course. We can just go ahead and buy that immediately. Oh, you son of a... Are you kidding me? Necronomicon. We're missing 71 gold for it. Well, what a shame. <laughs> You know, if I had a, a distortion weapon on me, I think I would, I would legitimately uh, go to the abyss and try to scum for gold to get that. Not even joking. But I guess we're just out of luck. So, guess I'm screwed. Okay, um, that sucks. Fine. Suppose we can get. Look at the warp. Oh, man. That way I'll have disjunction at least. Okay, well the moral of the story is this game likes to make you feel bad. Um, You know what? I forgot that I have Power Leap. Kills this crap for me. It's like one of the main benefits of playing Rune. I've just play, been playing like I don't have it. Okay, so that clears that. Go to the 15th and final floor of dungeon. We can still find another Necronomicon, and if we don't, it's no big deal. Hmm. 
Hmm. Wanted to use that Hydra zombie. Stuff, especially the slimes, didn't quite work out for me though. Let's go back up to D13. We found a lot of digging. a lot of damage. I'm gonna walk away, I'm gonna just the power up. Catalog of creative fire. Well, you know, that's cute and all. Uh, summon lightning spire might be kind of nice, but I think what's happening here is I'm, I'm going to get Shatter. Oh, there's a Staff. Staff of Power. I may use that. This character, more than anything, needs some mana say. Alright, let's train conjurations up to like eight so I can get something repeatable that kills stuff that's immune to BBC. Zombies, unfortunately. Oh, you know what I could be using against these? Didn't even think of it. Um, Impure Touch. Wow, my spell hunger uh, is still pretty huge. If I don't have a staff of energy on, so maybe I should just stick with this. It's not like I'm a deep elf. I don't have huge intelligence or anything. There's another wizard in here. Checking on LCS. 3D28, that's uh, 90. not messing around. Um,
I guess there wasn't a second wizard. All right, let's dungeon. So we've done orc dungeon. We have time for one more branch. I feel like I should probably just get Shatter online. But we'll continue getting Conjurations just to eight, so I'll have that available. Um, where do I want to go? I want to go to Snake Pit. No RLEC, unfortunately. Except for that flail. That's not really uh, it's not really a blocker in here. I just file that under nice to have. Does a ton of damage to me, as you can see. You know what? Why don't we just make sure? Oh, Jesus. I don't remember what it's called. Uh, shock, shock Serpent? Yeah. Electric Snake. Not quite right. Uh, 3d13, 13, 13, 26, and 39 total damage. PVC working out pretty well. All right, let's train Earth up. Iron shots down to six percent. Only a matter of time, really, until we get shatter. And you know, I, I, I may I may swap I may swap right back to some robes. Come to think of it. Oh, hello. That's what you can't do. You cannot put me to sleep. Check that out. You see that? That double cast. Isol is pretty much permanently hasted, so you gotta assume that he can do two times his max damage to you. Which is what makes him so outrageously powerful. Thankfully, it goes down quite easily to BBC. See all this stuff. Mm. So 
one way to deal with the shark serpent. Let's go, hmm, yeah, let's go finish this out. There's two more floors. Really amazingly fast progress. That's what BBC gets you. Wow, we found three scrolls of acquirement all at the same time at some point. check out what's going on with that um, hmm well I'm gonna go with just armor because we already have uh, any 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 amulet would be wasted so we're not gonna get jewelry okay well that's crap that's a joke and I'm probably not gonna be able to replace that helmet Wow, maybe. RF plus plus plus, huh? So if I wore RC minus, that would not be great. Um, but I would be maxed out on RF. And it's a plus five helmet, which is insane. So let's think about it. Maybe. Mm. I could wear Pro Cold. Shiny crystal plate armor. That's so stupid. It's like, gee, I, I only uh, sacked armor. I totally want to wear crystal plate, right? Thanks, game. I think I'm. I think I'm happy with the way it is now, but I'm gonna keep that in mind. I may end up swapping. Because the, the best I'm going to do is RC null and RF++, which is great. But if something, if I were to run into something that does ice damage, like a, gee, I don't know, a, a, a frost giant, which is inevitable, I will run into one. Um, I'm going to have very serious problems if I'm running around with no resistance. To finish this out. Now, if I didn't have Apocalypse or whatever, I would, uh, you know, I think what I'm probably going to start doing, not right now because I've already got Apocalypse, but if I'm not worshipping Rue without full piety or whatever, I'm probably going to do the hyper elliptic thing. Like if you go, let me just show you.
See how it suggests that you do S3 and then the other S S3? Well, S is a, a, a layer branch, you see. And the idea is you avoid the ending because at any point, well, I don't know if this is his reasoning, but at any point uh, you could be, whoops, you could be teleported into the branch end, which means you just die on most characters which is a, a good argument for removing teleport traps, but of course uh, that's not going to happen. So, as much as it should. <laughs> However, we have a way to deal with that problem quite handily, which is just apocalypse. We should have a good pile of fear too. Six six uh, stacks there. Box of beasts. I'd like that lamp of fire at some point. Probably more enslaved would be nice. not so great. We'll see if I get surrounded. Alright, that wasn't so bad. Hey, awesome. Oh wow, I'm going to restore my hit points, that could have been bad. Let me just make sure you can double poison arrow me from this distance. damage does that actually do? 60. 60 damage. Minus some. Um, but because he, let's just assume he does Mystic Blast because I can resist the poison. Yeah, that's bad. He could do 120 damage. Mystic Blast has good range too, so we'll just regenerate my hit points there. Down he goes, but man, we need to get some more I need to train some fighting up, get some more hit points. That's another reason to avoid the um, branch end before you, uh, you know, like as long as you can. Um, because, you know, there's going to be more powerful stuff in there, of course.
Vashnia, perhaps? Maybe not. Wow. Not, not the best, uh, not the best clouds I've ever seen. I hope zombie hands would kill that a little faster. Shatters down to 54%. Let's just take off the Swamp Dragon scales, and I see that it actually drops by, wow, 24%. So before I continue, I'm going to take a quick look around and see what these ropes are. Shockingly low number of robes in uh, Orc. Oh, hey, a robe of magic resist. Another robe of magic resist. But we don't need that. Uh, hmm. Sucks. Uh, tell you what. We're just going to pop on robe of cold resist. And we can get some of that. Get some of that AC back. We'll put on we'll put on this RC ring instead of the evasion. All right, so we still have our RC plus. We have RF plus plus plus. Um, we have the robe on, so our, our GR is not so good. But you know our actual defenses are not very impacted, and I'm almost ready to cast Shatter. Really, what we really badly need is like a wizardry or just more intelligence. Okay, that's one way to do a big pile of damage to me. Let's see if I can just drain some. I'm going to draw power. Alright, I will try. 
try to use animate that, but it doesn't quite work. Awesome. So my hand wins the day again. Don't really have much spell power in it either. I very much overestimated what Deep Dwarf was capable of as a, as a caster. Maybe I'm just spoiled from playing things like, you know, mummies and deep elves and stuff. But I guess I thought the intelligence would be just a little a little better. I'm in much imminent danger here. It's just uh, a little bit tedious because of how slowly it's killing things. If I had maybe one more pip spell power, which could be solved with a uh, staff of death or whatever, but nothing like that has spawned. And I don't even know if I would wear it if it had uh, because I like the fact that I'm not suffering spell hunger. Via this staff of energy. Okay, so we've cleared this out. Um, didn't really find much loot, and that's fine. Um, I suppose I'll go ahead and... What are we doing on Brilliance? We got eight Brilliance. I can start shattering whenever I want if I want to use those Brilliances. Let's sit tight with this, though. Probably go into Swamp next. I'm gonna cut the video here. And we'll use BVC to kill most of the things in here, the stuff that we can't kill. Of course, I've got Iron Shot online, so we'll just use that. So, one rune, Serpentine, next is Decaying. Maybe think about going into Slime after this. Haven't really decided. Might need to buff off on my uh, RC a little bit if I'm going to do that. But I think we're making pretty good progress. Actually, I'll probably go into vaults after this because I don't have any MR trouble. So yeah, that'll be good. And Shatter will just clear everything in there. So that'll be awesome once that's online. Looking forward to just spamming that. So anyway. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this run. Until next time, I am signing out.